Yo, yo, we are back with Terranelius. I don't know why I always say that. I just say, like, yo, yo, like, basically every time. Um, but here, we're back. Um, Yi didn't fall to her death, so that's nice. Um, but maybe I can make someone else fall to their death. Yeah. No! Stop! I, we already did! Somebody I'm did. I'm not fall trying to, to kill any of you. I'm just playing the world. Whatever, Caleb. <laughs> I had already established that Red Cap is a crazy person and so was. it was also perfect because he was on below it was it was just such a good moment we had to do it, it had to happen i just caleb i swear if you have children in this can in, in this session like i'm just gonna be like That's it. i thought you were gonna say like something about like me having children and playing like yeah. playing games with them no <laughs> like, no like my actual like, children in this, in this session like just, no, like, I was going where Caleb was going with that. <laughs> no, I don't mean like your kids are gonna hate you though because you're just gonna kill all their characters and not show mercy, <laughs> and they're gonna be like, "Dad, again, I'm showing you the ways of life." <laughs> again, the, the thing is, it's not about killing; it's about suffering. I just need to make <laughs> you guys suffer because that's so much better. That's it much is. Better. It's much better. Yeah. yeah, everybody watching, now you're seeing the real side of Caleb that we see. I don't think the pe any of the people in the chat are, would be surprised. Killing you is boring, unless it's like the end of an arc, right? I don't like... know, I think Electric Skateboard's pretty surprised. <laughs> I don't think Electric Skateboard is sentient. So, I'm going to send to everybody on this mount. Here you go. Okay, so you guys have made your way down the stairs. And so I think you've realized that this staircase basically is the <laughs> staircase for the entire castle. Um, and so, like, this goes up and down the entire thing. This is the staircase you use to get to any floor. You get down to what you assume is, like, the third floor, because um, the like top was the fourth. Um, and then you see, um, you see two doors in front of you. Um, what do you do? I kind of, like, consult my party, and I go, if she's being kept somewhere, would you think it's in a dungeon? <coughs> Siri I... chokes on the food that she's eating. <laughs> <coughs> Making a lot of noise. Um, <laughs> roll with disadvantage on stealth. Um, oh, no, we don't need any more. Just... So I guess you got an 8 instead of a 16, then, on that roll? No, 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 no. Um... <laughs> Um, I, I mean, I think I agree with that. I'm like, I don't really know how cults work, but I mean, I think we should keep heading down. So wait, we climbed up just for us to go back down. Easy entry, guys. Easy entry. Easy um, entry. Yeah, until they start coming up the stairs to find us. I think um, that we right, so if down. we head all the way down, then when they come up, we'll already be below them. No, but they're going to pass us on our way down. <laughs> this is... It, I mean, yeah, you don't know, I guess, if this is the only staircase, but if it, yeah, you know. I'll, I'll, look, I'll look to him and say, you'll see, um, if we if we go down, we, can, we, we may be surrounded. If we stay here, they can only come from the stairs. Should we go back up to the roof and just guard the stairs? Let us check this floor. Okay. Okay. So, should we, like, peek in the doors? Yeah, which door do you want to peek in? The left one. Uh... So, the one at the top? From the top? Yeah. Okay. Why not? Here, I'm gonna move over there. Oh, now I can see. So it's a restroom. Oh, great. <laughs> so you look in and immediately like as soon as you open the door, it smells really bad. Um and yeah, you can see that it's like it's basically like two holes in like these like um wooden cabinets. Yeah, I like shut it and go <laughs> <laughs> Even our monasteries weren't that bad. Okay, I'm just, I'm trying to do my thing. I'm gonna go shh it's this if this is bathroom, other door might be bedroom. Maybe. So I go to the. I want to go to the other door. Okay. Careful. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, okay, I can see in it now. What's in there? So you just see a hallway. Um, it's a long There's hallway. There are other doors. Yeah, there are windows on, on the south there. Those are windows looking out. Um, and then, yeah, there's a, there's another door to, right directly to your left, and there's a door at the end of the hallway. You don't um, you don't really hear all that much happening, um, uh, like, down where you're looking. Um, it's, like, to your left you hear stuff. Were there windows in the staircase? Um, so, yeah. So, wait, so I hear stuff coming from the left door, but not straight? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yes. Yeah. You hear stuff coming from, like, yeah, to the left of you. It's pretty muted, though. Okay. Some, um, like, quiet conversation. Like, oh, what is this? Okay. Um, so I kind of turn towards Ian. I'm like, I think there's people in the door right now. <laughs> oh, okay. So should we just go straight or should we just go down? Well, that's what I'm saying is we we have to choose if we're going to clear this floor, then we're going to end up going through every floor and clearing every floor. Like if it, we have to make a choice, do you think we can clear every floor? We don't need to clear every floor. We just need to see what, it, let, let us look, see if there are other stairs. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be any noise coming from the door at the end of the hallway. Mm -hmm. You can make a perception check if you want to know for sure. I will do that. All right. 17. Uh, yeah. So you can hear, I think you hear, like, you, you start to, like, tune out the stuff to the left, and you focus on the stuff in front of you, and you do hear a small, like, guttural whisper, whisper of some sort. So there's there's someone in the room ahead of you. So I mean, I just say, there's there's people both ways. I, we're we're either about to pick a fight right now or keep going down. Oh, I'll tell them like, well, we are surrounded. Well, we are let's surrounded. Just, let's just go, let's, let's let's just go, go down, man. Yes. <laughs> I think we should either way. I think we should just go down until we we maybe hit a dungeon. <laughs> Sounds uh, like a or people. Okay, so we keep going down. Okay. I mean, pretty much we're already surrounded, so we might as well go downstairs. So let me drag you <coughs> around a little bit. Because I have all four levels on this map. Really? Yep. Oh, oh I get what you mean. So, now over here. Can you center that? No, thanks. Yep. <clears throat> same same layout like you you can see that like um and i guess the door i don't know why i forgot to make a, a dynamic lighting door thing there but apparently there is no the door is open to the um to the lavatory right to the left of you you can see <laughs> okay, it's like so the I, same layout i say let's let's keep going down uh so you can definitely hear there's a lot of voices coming from like from the I, stairwell? Uh, no, well, no, um, not necessarily the stairwell. Um, though I guess, yeah, you can hear voices from, come from coming from below you and from like directly diagonally to like the left up of you. So like from where we just were. Uh, no. So we're, you hear voices coming from on like, this... over here. Okay. So there's like, a lot of right voices. There. There's a lot of people in the room over there. And they're like, you can. I think you can even hear like audible words at some point. He was like, uh, you know, the the uh, um, um, the high um, the high Justicar said to wait here, um, but are there inter interlopers? Shouldn't we be trying to find them? Like you hear stuff like that. Yeah. So oh, I think we should just keep heading down. Yeah, I think I want to like get my like quarter staff like ready to like attack. Because we can hear people downstairs, so it's only a matter of time before we run into them. Mm. I mean, it's really a matter of time before we run into anybody at this point. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we go down another level. Okay. Um. So I think what happens basically is. Let me 
something real quick. <laughs> you guys, um, make a perception check for me, everybody. Yay. Eight. Nine. And not the German nine. <laughs> well, I guess both are applicable. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't think any of you really notice, um, what's coming, um, and you end up walking face first into a group of, like, armed individuals that are, like, coming up the stairs. What do they look Yay. like? Um, here, I'll, I'll drag you to where you are, or center you where you are now. So, like, they look like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly turn to say, "Hurry, the interlopers are down the stairs." <laughs> um, hurry, the what? The interlopers, interlopers are down the stairs. Make a deception check, I guess. It's worth a shot. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. So it's if only Shayla is here to pull this off. Twenty. 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 Wow. So I think what you do is you buy your buy yourself like a moment of confusion because like the like the head guy he looks at you just like but there aren't any more levels down what there aren't any more stairs i don't understand what who are you wait wait i thought i thought they were coming up from the stairs yeah no but that's the end of the level though they're like kind of just coming up the stairs. yeah so you guys don't like you you okay. basically said like they're down so she's like we just came from there <laughs> what do you mean uh... we were told they were on the roof and then I think, like, you see in his eyes that it's, like, literally one moment before he's going to realize what's actually at a foot. Okay, so, you... so did we get a surprise round? Yes, that's what basically happens. Yes! Okay. All right, everybody roll initiative. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't think there was any other way out of this, at least. Oh, no, I got... but yeah. <laughs> there's no way you're going to convince these people that you're one of them. <laughs> one one of just... us. Ah, uh, frick. I didn't roll over. Oh, man. Well, we man, have an eight dexterity. I'm not rolling good initiative this time. We're not rolling well in general. Okay, let me roll this in real quick. <laughs> Boom. Uh, so you, you go first. What do you do? Okay, so it's a surprise round. Yep. So I'm going to walk over to this or i guess i'll just go to right there because i don't need to move any more than that um and attack with my short sword at advantage so 18 mm -hmm, that hits okay so that hits with a crit and it's also sneak attack damage and it's doing the same thing okay. where it's not letting me click it so i'm just gonna attack do another attack so i can click short sword Okay, so eight, and then D6, which is 3d6 additional. So another seven, so 15 total. Okay. On uh, that one. Give me one second while I check their the hit points. My computer's going a little slow. Oh, ah. Uh... Uh, yeah, so you didn't, you, you didn't kill him. Um but um, you seem to definitely do a lot of damage. So what does that look like? You're just, like, attacking with the short swords? Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so you so stab that, him a couple of times. one hit, and then I'm... And, yeah. Well, I guess I can use the second attack that I did because I was going to attack again anyway. Sure. Well, how much damage did you do again? Um, 15. 15, okay. Yeah, so then I'll just... Can I just click damage on this one then? Sure, yeah. So then that would be... So that's with... I have to use that without my dex modifier because it's my Your bonus offhand, attack. Yeah. Yeah, so that would be just a two. Just a two, okay. All right. Yeah, so you, you just, like, randomly stab this guy, and you're just like, what, what, what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, Sayori. Go right here and attack the same guy that he was attacking with her quarterstaff. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that doesn't hit. Okay, and then as a bonus action, she's gonna do an unarmed strike against mm -hmm. him. Yeah, so you manage to, like, bra you know, brace for your attack with his, like, arm, and you, like, hit his arm, but he, like, manages to, like, shrug it off, and then you, like, 
come around with like a kick. Yeah. That and 14, you hit him, right? yeah. Him straight in the jaw. 15. Or 15. <laughs> 15? <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, that's a powerful kick. Yeah, so you kick him in the jaw and he's like, oh, he like slams against like the central pillar of the staircase and it's just like, oh, oh but he's like not exactly, he's not out yet. Okay. Uh, that's it. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, great. I'm... I'm gonna move, if only just to position myself so she can't get flanked. <laughs> I'm gonna move right here, and I'm as I'm moving forward, I'm going to pull a uh, apparently a tiny white strip out of my um, uh, out of a, out of my pocket, mm-hmm. kind of hold it up in my hand, start chanting some words, saying some some Latin or something like that. Sure. And it starts to and the mythos, um, yeah. yeah. And as I say that, the the tiny strip kind of starts to glow. And it kind of just bursts in a shatter, and I'm used, and that is casting aid. Mm-hmm. So you give them aids. Oh my God, <laughs> Caleb! <laughs> no, I am giving them. Uh, so me, all, the three of us, each get five hit points, and our maximum hit point value increases by five. Ooh. Oh, we each get five more hit points. Yeah, yes. for and the duration. We- and we get five a temporary five max of five in hit point increase. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't think it'll do much, but it could oh. save us. Yeah, it could. I'm, I'm mainly me. Well, actually, it's eight hours too, so that that lasts for a while then. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just, just gonna, gonna make a note. A short rest, it'll be helpful. I'm just gonna make a note in temporary hit points that I have. Five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. That's all I can do. Unfortunately, yeah, okay. all right. Game. So, um, the thugs don't do anything because it's you know, surprise round. And ye, it's you again. Okay, so I'm going to move to right there now. So, I'm flanking mm-hmm. that guy and attack with advantage since he still hasn't moved. Sure, 23. Yep, definitely a hit. So that's nine damage. Is mm-hmm. he dead? He is like literally on his like last leg. Okay, here. then He's I'm like... gonna also use my um my sneak attack damage that I can do. Okay. Because I had advantage. No, no matter how many hit points of damage you do, you kill him. So yeah, I one. did yeah. eight. Yeah. You you completely so what what do you do to him? <laughs> you murder him. Um I mean I'm just I'm just slashing. Yeah. Or stabbing because it's short swords, but yeah. Oh yeah, stabbing then. Yeah. So you just stab him <laughs> so, in the chest, and he just like so crashes so, so, so. to the ground. Yeah. Yeah, and I do like since I did so much extra damage, I kind of like get him to the ground and kind of do a little like twist. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Uh, okay, Siori. So, um. Oh, and then something? I'm. Uh, I was going to move. To oh oh, I should probably save myself. So I'm going to disengage and move to right there. Okay. Uh, all right, Siri, it's you. Okay, I'm gonna attack the guy just to the right of me. Sure. Um, with my quarterstaff again. Sling around your quarterstaff. Yeah, Whoa. there it goes. It's good for you that these stairs are so big. Like, this is a pretty b- yeah. like, wide staircase, or else, like, this would be pretty hard swinging the quarters off <laughs> in this close of quarters. Oh, I don't know why yeah. it did Quarters. Two quarters. <laughs> why did it just roll two of them? I, I don't, know. don't know. You must have, like, another damage thing that you actually. One of them says bludgeoning, and one of them's just a D8. Yeah, I'm assuming it's the first one, so. Um... <gasps> oh, it might be because it's a, a weapon that you can do, vers- a versatile weapon. That might mm. be it. Well, it uh, hasn't maybe. done it before, though, so that's confusing. Well, it was a guess. Well, I actually haven't hit anything with my quarter staff yet, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that must be what. What it must be. Yeah, so I assume. Well. Because it's one of them's a D six roll, one of them's a D eight roll. Yeah, so, so let's let's double check this. Um, so quarter staff. Because if it's a D eight, then you actually want that better, because you're not you wouldn't be using it with one hand, right? You'd be using it with two hands. Well, technically... No, quarterstaff is a one-handed... Uh, it weapon. says damage 1d6, secondary damage 1d8. Yes, so that means that's because it's versatile. So I'm assuming yeah. you're using the 1d8 because you'd be using it in both hands if you could, right? Because there's no reason not to. 
But the nine um, damage is more. <laughs> No, right, but like she that well, was because she got her dexterity no, bonus to that? I, I actually would be using it with one hand because I want to be able to use an unarmed attack. Oh, is that what how that works? You have to have a one hand free? Um, In some cases, yes. Well, okay. Even even if you added the dex bonus to the second one, it would still be less by two points. Um, you should roll a five as opposed to rolling a three. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just use the first damage then for now. So, uh, All right, so... So then I'm going to use one of my key points uh, to make two unarmed attack strikes. Do it. Whoa. Oh. Uh. Well, <laughs> so one hit. Um, yep. Six. Oh, man. Nice. Oh, and it's my Fury of Blows. And since I have the open hand technique, he has to succeed on a a dexterity uh, saving throw or be knocked prone. Oh, nice. Okay, so you did so you did 9 damage first and right, then so 15 total. So 15 total all together. Okay. Yes. And then he has okay. to make a dexterity save to see if he uh... Sounds good. It doesn't say what he has to save. Is it just less than 10 or what is I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, I know what it is. It's my, it's my uh, key save DC. So that's there you go. eight plus my proficiency bonus. I think, it, I think it's fourteen. Yeah, 14. so he beat, he beat it. Yep. Okay. So he doesn't Burn. Get so you knock him against the wall, but he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't doesn't knock get knocked over. Um. Yeah. So you kick him good, but not good enough. Uh, great. It's you. Okay. Well, I think. <clears throat> Check. Mm. I think I'm going to move forward and hit the guy she just hit. Actually, um, I think I'll hit the guy in front of. How how bad does the guy she just hit look? Uh, she did about like half of his health. Yeah. Okay, so I probably can't kill him in this shot, so I'm just gonna go ahead and attack the guy in front of me. Okay. With my mace. Do it. Are you freaking kidding me? He dodges your mace. Actually, no, no, you totally hit him, actually. No. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, okay. I forgot Good. how much AC these have. Yep. I still rolled horribly. <laughs> yeah, so you, you slam him with your mace. Um. He looks concussed for a moment. Roll the one. But now, it's the thug's oh, turn. And so, I think this is just what happens. They, they match up with you, and then just each Rude, attack you. I didn't want it, that to happen. <laughs> so um, which order are they going in? So this is the one that's going to attack Yi, and you can only make one attack. Oh, that hits. That's my armor class. Ugh. Ouch. Okay. So there go all of my temporary hit points. Well, it's not really temporary hit points. It's like legit well, your actual right maximum now. increases, but yeah. 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 There go. But then, yeah, so now if you get healed to full hit points, then you will have like five right, hit points. Right, the extra five. Yeah. Right. Um, so uh, two attacks on uh, Gret. Oh, nice. Both miss. And two attacks on Siri. A one hit. Okay. Oh, my Ooh. God. Whew. Yeah, so he lends a mighty Why one on you. Why rolling so well with those attacks? Oh, mm -hmm. I have such a good armor class, too. This is making me really mad. <laughs> All right, now you, you know I... see you again. Now you know how I felt when I was toity in the hiding. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to stab him, and I don't get any bonuses. 13! Yay! Uh, yep, it hits. Yep. Eight. Very nice. And then um, I'm going to disengage and move to there. 
Just so he can only get one attack on me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But then he might flank me. Okay, uh, Sierra. But then we're flanking him! Oh, sorry. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna attack him again with my quarter Sure, attack. yeah, do it. Oh! Oh, yeah. this is gonna probably die. Nice. Um, so, oh, well, yeah, that didn't roll damage. very well. <laughs> you did less damage uh, than your regular health. Than I did my regular, what the heck? Yeah. Uh, Why does that always wait, happen? It only rolled it once, actually. No, it's the it's the plus it's one is the extra. Yeah, he, he's oh. choosing it. Her, um... No, I, I literally <laughs> critted on both. I critted oh, ow, on both. Oh, I see okay. now. Yeah. Ouch. I critted on both. Wow. That's very unfortunate. That's lame. Um, that's really lame. How did... Oh my gosh. I got a gnat, and then I critted on my actual damage. <laughs> That's not fair. That's so sad. Crit failed. Um, do you still have unarmed strikes? Uh, yeah. No, I still can do one arm, unarmed strikes as a bonus action. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So I guess I'll just do another unarmed strike. Okay. Yep. That hit. Yep. Do another five damage. Oh cool, cool. Gosh. So yeah, you're beating, just beating this guy so against poorly. the wall. Um, he is, he's very wounded. Uh, Gret, it's you. He looks very wounded? Yeah. I think I noticed that. I'm gonna yeah. take the time over, him. his advantage to hit that guy. I'm gonna try and hit him in the face with the mace. <laughs> nice. Oh, I just barely hit. Very nice. Eight nice. bludgeoning damage. And he dies. Yeah. Please describe what you do to knock this guy into oblivion. Well, I hit him in the face with the mace. <laughs> and I and I look at him like, oh, just like the fairy. <laughs> <laughs> just like, yeah, right, just like the fairy. You, 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 so you literally, you hit his head against the wall like you did the other guy. And so he just like, his, his head just like crushes against the wall and just like mm -hmm. crumbles to the ground. Just like the fairy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. oh yeah. Uh all right, it's the thugs turns. Um I think they just both attack Gret. Oh no. <laughs> oh please. No. Oh, oh my god. Wow. wow. One hit. Wow. The 18 hits. Yep. Whoa! Five wow. damage. Seven. These guys are pathetic. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, well, <laughs> that was their whole turn. <laughs> Say, uh, ye. Okay, I'm gonna move right there and attack with my short sword. 22. Mm -hmm. So that is 10. Nice. No, that's it's 6 damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was for the, the second crit mm -hmm, roll. Mm -hmm. Um... And then I'm doing the same thing and disengaging. <laughs> okay. Just dashing in, stabbing, and dashing away. Yep. All right, Sayori. So I'm going to move right here. So we're flanking. Woo! Nice. And then hit him with my quarter staff. Oh, man. Oh, uh, that it still hit, though. The 12 hits? Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Dope. Okay, so five, and then an unarmed strike. That'll hit. Mm -hmm. So 11 <clears throat> total. Sounds good. Yeah, so you just, like, catapult over the falling guy, and then just, like, go on the other side of the guy, just, like, slam him with your quarterstaff, and then slam him with the fist. And, yeah, like, he, yeah, it's not a good time. He, he's not having fun. <laughs> uh, he's like, you know, join the cult, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Uh, Gret, it's you. Uh, I think I'll just make sure one less attack is coming my direction next turn sure. and hit the, hit the guy in the face with the mace. Gret is a simple man. He just wants to hit things and heal things. Not quite as simple. He's just, he's taking advantage of what he sees. Mm -hmm. And that's nine bludgeoning damage. Nice. Nice. So you slam nice him in the damage. face with the mace and he is very bloody. Yeah, still not oh, dead. Just bloody? No, dang. Not dead uh, yet. Okay. I thought he was almost I'm not dead. Not dead yet. 
I am not better. Happy. <laughs> I feel happy. All right, it's the thug's turn, and they're both just gonna do the same thing on um on Greg. Oh, please miss. Yeah. Don't I can't spare the dying on myself. Ooh. Only one hits again. Wow. What? What? What's, What's your armor class? Eighteen. I have right. chainmail and a shield. Oh Only... yeah, you're like Raya. Only three damage. Oh my gosh. Wow. So yeah. lucky. I feel so I just pounded that... into you and you're just like blocking with a shield. Yeah, it's it's intense. I feel five thousand percent still not bad now that I keep like going back because yeah. I would have been hit by so <laughs> well, many. He can take care of himself. All right, you too. Yeah. I'm a bit of a tank. Uh, just gonna go right back there and stabby stab and nine piercing damage. Um. Yeah. How, how bad does he look right now? Let me, let me tell you. Uh, uh, okay, so he. Uh, it looks like he another one of the, another hit about that strength would take him down. Oh yeah, uh, I'm I'm moving back. That's too much of a risk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he's definitely bleeding, but. Uh, well, definitely if, not dead yet. <clears throat> if Sayori can get this other guy, then we can get them in this round. Oh, uh, yeah. And speaking oh. of Sayori, it's you. All right. Quarter staff. Do it. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a miss. Mm, all right. Try an iron arm strike. Wow. Yeah, that definitely hits. 10 damage. And. He is dead. You just punched a guy to death. <laughs> so what does that look like? Say That's right. like all I've ever wanted to do with a monk. <laughs> yeah, what does that look so like? I think so I think she like tries to swing at him with the quarter stuff and then comes up with a kick. Right, <laughs> yeah. And just like kicks him in the head, back yep. of the head and just Roundhouse kick. Yep. Yeah, he just <laughs> crumbles to the ground. Uh all right, great. See you. Good old mace to the face. Uh, I wish I could get that crit, yep. but it's... Hits up. So it's just... Eight. Just eight. <laughs> yeah, he looks like a, he's on his last legs. Um, really? Dang. So... Yeah, that's that's why I didn't go for the offhand short sword. I was like, I don't think there's any way. So what happens is... Oh no. Please, not more. No, I see a token. I see a token. No, no. Here two more. Go. Two more Aren't rush I... in with crossbows. Oh shoot! No. And they, and they look at you guys and and they say, "The interlopers," and then like aim their crossbows. Uh, the first guy. This guy is gonna like yell in. Okay, in, like, if a it's a rage. staircase, can they hit us from there? Uh, they can hit Sayori and Gret. They can't hit you. Hit me, hit me, because I have this thing called deflect missiles. Right. <laughs> I almost got the. the I mean, honestly, they probably will, right? Because the other guy has armor on, so like they're they're, yeah. Uh, so but the the the, the guy with the mace is still gonna attack right twice. I almost got the shield that like t absorbs stuff. Oh, no. Crap! You know what I just realized, guys? What? <sighs> These thugs have a thing called pack tactics. That they haven't been using? Yep. They have advantage on an attack roll against a creature as if at least one of the thug's allies is within five feet of the creature. I'm fine with so... the fact that you've been forgetting that, because we'd be dead yeah. if you hadn't. Yeah, darn. Props. Oh, darn. I hate it when I'm bad at D&D. Uh, so yeah, he still uh, hit with that crit, though. Yeah. If I was aware of it, I would have reminded you, probably. Thanks. Because I Emily. have death wishes for all of us. Yeah. Only eight? Uh, it's still not great. <laughs> Keep rhyming. I wasn't supposed to rhyme. It's like, literally... That's seriously, I'm at like seven hit points right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the other two are gonna shoot, um, uh, say right with crossbows. Bring it! I want to deflect some missiles. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, they shoot a nuke at you, I guess. Then. 
Well, that's the thing, though. This is super cool. If I if I manage to get if I roll a certain way, mm -hmm. I can actually grab it <laughs> and yeah. throw it back at throw it back. They yeah. both got twenties. Not nets, though. Okay, yeah, but they so exactly they both, hit. They both hit me, but so now you have to roll damage for both of them, okay. and then I have to roll a 1d10 plus my dexterity modifier plus my monk level to see if it gets to zero. And it probably and it will, actually. It automatically will, because my monk level is three. So that... Um, but let me roll for the six. So let's mm -hmm. see. If one... How many times can you do it? Can I you can, just do it uh, once I as a reaction? Only, I can use it as a reaction. Yeah, so one of those. So, so one of them. Do you so do... I'll, I'll, I'll catch one of them. What, which so... one are you going to do? Are you going to try for the six, or are you going to just take the three for guaranteed? Um... Oh, no, actually, it is guaranteed because it's my dexterity plus my monk level, and that's so that's seven. Already. So no matter what, yeah, so you just take the six. So then. I'll take the three like damage right yeah, and yeah. Then i'll grab the six and throw it back at them <laughs> <laughs> yeah so these guys are like oh man this person doesn't even have any armor on let's just shoot her full of crossbow quarrels and then you literally like you one hits you in the leg but like you grab the other one like stare at them and then just like chuck it back yeah. Uh, so, so, how's that I, work? Yeah. so I have to roll. So it says I roll. You make an attack with proficiency regardless of your weapon proficiencies, and the missile counts as a monk weapon attack for the mm -hmm. monk weapon for the attack. That, that's all it says. Sure. So I do have to spend one key point to do that, but that's okay. That's because that's just awesome. Um. All right. So I don't know how to roll. Should I just roll a crossbow, like the heavy crossbow? Um, roll a d20 i would just I say d20 play. plus dex probably right oh no i think it hits uh, or no oh i don't know actually i don't know if it automatically hits. i think do you roll a d20 plus pro just your proficiency modifier does it say anything about like rolling to oh it says you make this attack it just says you make this attack with proficiency so yeah i guess yes. it's, i would have to roll so roll d20 plus, plus whatever what? your proficiency is plus your dexterity Proficiency is two plus my dexterity is four. So, oh, oops, what I do, what I do wrong, unrecognized. That I, it's just slash roll twenty, right? One oh, d twenty. I I didn't roll. Sorry. Okay, you can also just say d twenty and it'll be a one. But like, it, there's a space in between roll and and d twenty. Sorry guys. Okay. Oh shit! <laughs> Why do I keep doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I'll... So it should look like this without the dot, without the period. Oh. Okay. Oh, you can just do an R? Yep. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, okay. What the heck? Okay, let me just. <laughs> just, just copy what. Can, can you copy that? Yeah, just copy. And, and then take off the period. Minus the, yeah. Oh, I'm just gonna roll a d. What the heck? Why it's can not I not working. roll? Am I, is it because I don't have a? Does it just keep giving you a or... syntax error? No. Hold on. Let me try this. There we go. Okay. So then plus six, sixteen or seventeen. I mean, sorry. Okay. Yeah, that hits. So. Okay. So then, I'm gonna. Oh no. Can you can you just roll damage for the heavy crossbow for me? <laughs> yeah. And suddenly a bunch of code appears in the air. And we're playing Doki Eight. Doki Literature Club. Um, <laughs> no! no! Only Monica! Is it 8 just plus anything? Monica. Or is it just 8? Um, um, do you have a dexterity modifier? Of? Uh, I mean, yeah, I have a 4 for dexterity. Ooh, plus so that's actually a 12. Wow. Sweet. Yeah. Which so, one did she hit? Uh, I don't know, the one near the one right, The one right in front of me, I think. Okay. okay got it yeah so like he he looks at you in terror as you like chuck this crossbow bolt at him and he just takes it in the chest i'm just so cool because yeah. she literally just grabs it in midair yeah. and then she goes Psh! yeah it's so awesome <laughs> right 
That's all I wanted to do this session was grab a crossbow. You grabbed a crossbow, crossbow, did 12 damage, and you just kicked a guy to death. Yeah, you did more damage than she would have done to you by actually shooting it from a crossbow. Do you know how like incredibly unlikely that is? The power of a crossbow so, versus the power of a human arm? You did arm? double the amount of damage, like, not insane. just more. You did double the damage. That's very true. Can I can I roll an intimidation check? <laughs> sure, yeah. That you would... want them to like just run? I think like I want them run. like 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 ter- like just stand there terrified, like paralyzed. Okay. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Sure. Um. No. Yeah. Okay. So they're, they, they're definitely scared, but they they use that to fuel their adrenaline and like attack you. Uh, Yi, it's your turn. Uh, gonna go right there and him. stab him. Five. He is him. dead. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So you stab so, him, hit the wall behind him, and he just crumples to the floor. Um, so now that he's dead, um, uh, from here, can they shoot me? Um, no? guy near like the it. door probably could. Yeah. So I want to move, like, right there. Goodness gracious. There you go. Since I'm guessing they can't shoot me through the middle column. Sayori? Okay. Speaking of Doki Doki Literature Club, Sayori? What do, what do... <laughs> hey, just because she's Japanese. No, there's actually a character no, in the game named Sayori. Named Sayori. <laughs> oh, really? That's why yeah. that said as long as she doesn't die oh. in a certain way. Yeah. I didn't know that. I've never seen that one before. Mm-hmm. So. It's probably for the best. It's a, we, we already talked about this. You, would, you wouldn't be able to handle the game, you said. Oh, so. is it the yeah. like gory one or whatever? It's psychologically distressing. Yes. Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember yeah. talking about that now. Okay, so I think I'm going to go right up to him and attack him with my quarter staff. Do it. That I, that I hit. So boss. I just like rush at him. My quarter staff. <laughs> yes, you chuck this at him, then you just run in his face. Oh, uh, dang it. Yep, so you missed. Okay. Well, I want to hit him with an arm arm strike then. Do it. No! What the heck? And you oh, miss. No. So I do this awesome thing. I know, right, and then you just like. I catch a crossbow, and then I'm like, ugh! What, no, what's probably happening? You, you probably have great strikes. He's probably just like backing away as quickly as he can, right? Like trying to like dodge uh, away yeah. from you. He's terrified. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, Gret, it's you. Uh, I don't know if I can do what I want to since she moved right next to them. Blank him! Uh, Blank him! No, because I'm almost. De- the problem is I'm almost dead. Oh. Uh. Well, that puts a damper on things. <laughs> I was say, don't just leave me for dead. I'm not <laughs> going to. Um, I'm trying to check. It doesn't look like guiding bolt needs has to have direct line of sight. So I think I'm good. So first I'm going to do, is to make sure I at least survive the next few turns, is I'm, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word on myself as a second level spell. Then you get a bonus four. Yeah. Oh, come on! So you get ten, that's good. Wait, oh, for, wait, why, why do I get It's ten? four plus two, and then the bonus four for being a life domain. Because it's a second level, so it's two uh, plus two. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I, wait, wait. Yeah, so that's so the four. The four is the base spell, then it's second level, so you get an extra two for the higher level, and then you get the bonus four for the life domain. Because wait, should I be getting the bonus four? Wait, I'm... I'm... Because you cast it as a second level spell, what she's saying is if you if you cast like healing word is just the three because it's lower level than this. Like, but you cast it, word. yeah. But yeah. you cast it at a second level, so yeah. your bonus as a life to me. <gasps> oh, oh. So I so I sorry I forgot I didn't see the two on top of that. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I gained ten. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's respectable. And then so that's a bo- as a bonus action that I'm going to cast guiding bolt. Probably on the guy. Well, you attack this guy. Yep. You hit him for twelve. Twelve. 
Twelve. How how bad does he look right now? Uh, I don't know, like a third of his health, something like that. I think I'll go ahead and attack him with guiding bolt then. Yeah. yeah go okay. Go. So wait, let me pull that up. Okay, so yeah, and the next attack made on him, I think by anyone, or is it just by me? Anyone has advantage. Anyone. So the next attack on him will be made with advantage. And, oh, I have to actually... I already... Do go. the damage. Here we go. Ooh, yeah. nice. 12 radiant damage. Nice. Nice. Uh, what does it look like when you cast this? So once again, I, I start, actually, what is the, so it's just verbal and somatic? Mm -hmm. Wait, somatic means gestures, gestures right? Gestures, yeah. Okay, so I look at them, I start chanting in Latin again. The bracers once again start to glow as the magic flows through them, and it's just a bolt, what is it? It's just a bolt, essentially just a bolt of light. Mm -hmm. And then a bolt of light kind of is just shoots out like from a it. cross. <laughs> no, because we don't want to get that cheesy. <laughs> it just shoots from it, shoots from it, and goes and hits him so it's like a, a, a the beam from iron that iron man uses. right oh my gosh yeah because it's coming from your gauntlets so just like... <laughs> absolutely for sure. well it's not coming from the gauntlet but it looks like it is well, that's that's the, the gauntlets in the way yeah, yeah. yeah okay cool yeah uh yeah so he's not down yet but he's definitely oh wait sorry damage. and then for my <laughs> movement for my movement i want to also move out of the way yeah actually he uh <laughs> I'll move out of the way as well, just because I'm still kind of like, I'm I'm running a little <laughs> yeah, low. Yes, so everybody's just like, bye, Sayori. They're like, they're like, good luck, Sayori. Yep. <laughs> yep. So it's the thug's turn, and they're just gonna drop their crossbows because you're like right in front of them, and then just attack you with their mace, which is like just at their belt. So all they have to do is just like drop and pick up and like attack you. Um. Fine. There. Don't I have roll. healing don't, spells don't, I can use in the bonus action. Advantage with crossbows. That's fine with me. Whatever. <laughs> it also takes, like, in, in real life, it takes a while to shoot a crossbow, to reload things. I don't know if it does in the actual game, but. Uh, so these are with advantage because they have the pack tactics. And. Okay. That's a lot of clicks. None of them hit. Oh my ah, gosh. That's why we leave you on your own. So Sayori is literally just dodging like the wind. Just like, wow, that's intense. That's awesome. Well, ye. <laughs> Would you like to make these guys look like buffoons even more? Um, I am going stabby to stab and, then and do some stabby stabs. No, I won't have enough movement to disengage. But I'm gonna stabby stab, hopefully, so one of them dies. If you can stabby stab the one I just made it, so you. So have one, it. two, three, four. I'm gonna go right there. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm gonna. Can you not flank? I don't want to. I don't want to get hit by that guy without him moving, oh. so he gets two attacks. I'd rather have him just get one attack if he really wants to hit me. Um, so I'm gonna stabby stab with my short sword. So that hits. Mm -hmm. That's eight. And then I'm going to roll 2D. He's already dead. Oh, okay. Then I won't. I also spelled roll incorrectly. Um, <laughs> Rollo. So he dead. Um, and then I'm going to use <laughs> my bonus action to dash and go <laughs> back over here. To where I, to whence I came. <laughs> so he just story. like runs down, stab. Bye. <laughs> I mean, I killed him. So yeah. you're welcome. As I run away. All right, Sayori, it's your turn again. I'm like, what? What the heck? <laughs> um, I guess I just attack him. Like I don't really have anything mm -hmm. else I can do. Um, he also doesn't get advantage anymore. It's true. That's All a right, hit. So that hits ten, and then an unarmed strike. Oh, nice. So, 15. Nice. What a beast. Yeah, so you slam this guy, like, against the door, um, and, yeah, he is very hurt. Gret. So, I... Gret is going to charge! Ah! 
Run it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like the Kool Aid oh, Man. I just went about having fun saying, oh, yeah. <laughs> And he's going to run in and mace to the face. Mace to the face. Nice. That's gonna hit. We're rolling well no. this session, at least. Yeah, I know. Ooh, that's nine bludgeoning. Nice. Definitely hurts. Do we get pack tactics? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Alright, it's the thug's turn. And... With um, zealotry, he attacks Sayori with his mace. Bring it. One hits. Ouch. One crits. No, it doesn't. No, he it doesn't, doesn't have advantage, no, anymore. Have advantage anymore. Oh, he doesn't have advantage anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. But he does do six damage, so yep. that hurts. I only have six hit points left. All right, ye. You gonna end this? Stab, stab time! <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna do my sneak attack damage on him. So another five, so that's ten. Yep, you killed him. Yeah! Yay! <sighs> yeah, so you stab him and hits the door on the other side, and he slumps against the door, dead. Um, I think you hear, like some women screaming in the other room oh women let's yeah. go <laughs> hopefully they're not gonna attack us <laughs> what does that even mean like it's not men yeah. like it's not gonna be thugs to kill us hopefully she so just, <laughs> just just like, run forward no but i like peek my head in through the door i mean yeah. it's the only direction we can go yeah so you just see the hallway out there there's some tapestries on the wall. And then a door on the other end. Is that where yeah, the women the women voice is coming? No, you hear from the left. Oh, there's more oh, stuff the to the mm -hmm. Oh, there's like an Yeah, so there's a door to, to your left. It's the same layout like every every time. Oh, I want to go towards the the women's voices then. All right. So you head in in the door to the left? Yeah. Okay. Go we'll follow. Like in, at this point, I'm kind of like, oh, I need to meditate. <laughs> okay, so I peek in there. Karma's out of whack. Um, yeah, so it's just a, a blank room. It's like a kitchen. Um, you see like a teapot, um, and some like half cut vegetables, but you don't see anyone in in the room. And there's two doors. There's the three voices, doors. Where are the voices coming from? Uh, from ahead of you. Does it look like there would have been any potions in here? Uh, it's like a regular looking kitchen. You could look at it. I'm guess, gonna but... I'm gonna peek in that door. Okay. I'll stand in the middle of the room. I wanna look through there's two other doors, you said? Yep, so there's there's a one on to the left and the right. Oh, I found the women. Okay, uh, so Sarah, so do you chicken. peek in that room to the left? I'm kind of standing in the middle of the room. Standing. Sorry, like, do you picking in that room, yeah. room to the left? Okay, sorry, I didn't hear you. Uh, yeah, so it's it's another lavatory. Oh, <laughs> I think the best room. Yep. Um, okay. Well, so I just well, I guess, like I kind can... of, I kind of like go in and I look a little rough and I'm just like, uh, where are the prisoners held? <laughs> Um, I mean, they're terrified. They like, I think, like when you walk in the room, like they they heard like the people dying in the, in the other room, and so they literally just like yeah. fall on their knees, fall like to the ground in like the fetal position. And they're like, "Please don't hurt us! Please don't hurt us!" I'm I'm not gonna hurt you. Just where where would we find the prisoners? Uh, make Looking... a persuasion check. Not intimidation. <laughs> I was about to say like it it well it doesn't. I mean, really it didn't. Matter. It sounded like you were trying to be nice. Yeah. You said I'm not gonna hurt you. That's not intimidation. Yeah, <laughs> Eight. Yeah, I mean they're if they're I, still if terrified. I, if, I, if I say something, can I help her? Uh, well, you, yeah, she's already rolled, so you can't give her advantage. Um, but you could try your own roll. Okay. Yeah, I think Wait, I want to. I think I want to say like we we come in peace. Like we're just here to get a friend. We come in peace. Uh, persuasion. Yep. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so they're just all terrified. 
I, I'm okay. going to go go over to one. Wait, where are they actually? I'm so this incredibly off. handsome man walks into the room. I'm going to come in, oh, kneel, 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 kneel down, put my hand on one of their shoulders, and say, "Please, we are here to rescue someone. We need to find them." <laughs> I'm very convincing to myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! This accent is so just nice. this accent has been just such a treat. It's hard to sound like nice in, in a She German looks accent. up and it just really goes. She she looks up and goes. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Should I try rolling on it? Yeah, yeah. Roll persuasion. Roll persuasion. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh no. Okay, I just start looking and I'm going to the next door that's like uh in in front of me over here and peeking in. These women are not gonna be helpful, I feel like. Our roles aren't gonna be helpful. Okay, so you just go up to go up to that over there. Um, yeah. Yep, so um that's a hallway up there. Um and you see like there's some windows looking out into the night. Is that stairs up or down? Um, it's just, let's see, uh, st Is stairs, that stairs up. Okay. But like they, 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 it's literally just like, a, there's a landing, like it's like this, like there's two staircases on either side of the like landing that goes in the center. It, it just goes right uh, back down. Okay. Yeah. It's not like a staircase to somewhere else. Okay. Well, I mean, so these women are like panicking, right? Yeah. They're just on the ground, like panicking. Um, I mean, and we can't convince them to tell us where the prisoners I are. I know. And you could try a different route, but you can't try persuasion. You can try to intimidate them. That's the thing you can do. I could sell them on fire. Okay, hey, sorry. Should we intimidate them together, I guess? I can hope. I mean, I don't see another way. We literally just told them we're not going to hurt them, and now we're going to try to intimidate them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind. We are going to hurt you. Well, it's just kind of like, well, if you're if you're not going to be helpful to us, then maybe we we will have to dispose of you like the others. Okay, so is that a I lie take... from me? <laughs> uh, yes, that is okay, a lie. Okay, so roll deception instead of intimidation. Okay, would I get advantage from every like if Sayori is also? Is being... anyone jumping in on this? Yeah, I think I want to like. I wish I would have gotten one of the boat. Like, I'm like. I just literally grabbed a bow mm -hmm. and threw it at somebody yeah. in midair. You don't want to fight us. <laughs> okay. Okay. 18. Yeah, it was a good thing you got that it's an advantage. Yeah, so I think that the head lady, and so these are like, um, I think there's there's one human, there's one Azamar and one tiefling um, here. Um, you know, they're pretty attractive women. I think you, 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 you gathered they were chosen for their attractiveness. Um, and oh, so... yeah? <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> so the, yeah, the, the, the head, head woman, she, um, she's an, uh, an Asmar, and she, she looks at you, um, ye, and she says, okay, all right, we'll, we'll comply. What, 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 what did you say? What did you want? I, I, we'll, we'll tell you. We're looking we for a prisoner. She's short, bright red hair. I would have told him about the time she would have been taken here. I don't know how long it's been. Yeah, let's roll. Let's roll d20 for her. Let's see if she knows this. <clears throat> um, she says... She knows generally where the prisoners are being held captive. Right, like, even if she doesn't know this prisoner, would she know, like, where... Right, and so you say that, and she says, we don't we don't have a prison, we don't have a, a jail of any sort. I, I don't know where a prisoner would be kept. I'm sorry, that's all I know. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. But Shayla, like... Can I do being bondaged in like a, like just a random guy's room? <laughs> Is that what's happening right now? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, okay. Um, did this door over here was that just the end of the hallway that I already looked in? Yeah. Okay. Um, I I think I'm gonna <clears throat> ask the ladies. I'm like, what job do you have here? We 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 cook. We we clean. We we're we're servants. Okay. In your cleaning, have you seen a short, bright red haired halfling? Was she halfling? Yes. Yeah. 
she was a halfling um yeah um i she kind of like shakes her head at first and she says um uh, the only thing i can think of is that maybe maybe upstairs at the the, the third floor there <laughs> we're, we're not allowed up there uh, i okay seriously <laughs> that's, that's all i can think of i don't know if anyone's there or not <laughs> back up to the third floor guys we were just there we should have um, gone down the hallway i tell you um, you didn't say anything gret oh yeah i did <laughs> No, you said we should go downstairs, I thought. Yeah, I know, I did. <laughs> I'm like, don't say that. Okay, um, um, so... <laughs> so here's the deal with... with Let's the, just tie him up. Yeah, I, I was thinking the exact same thing. Like, we have to. Like, it's not that we... Like, I think that they seem like nice ladies, but they are definitely going to tell somebody the moment they, you know, whatever. We can't have that, so... Let's lock them in the bathroom. <laughs> that's that's a little rude. It's kind of smelly in there. Well, but it's a court. It's a closed room, though. That's the thing. It's not. Do you have another closed room where there's no other doors? Like, just saying. That's our best bet to lock them in there. Okay. I mean, I know it's mean, but you know. Okay. Let's. We, our, so, so our goal is let's be tie them up. Siri, when you look into that um that lavatory <laughs> over there, you do see that there is another door um on the uh, north. Oh, side oh wall. there is. Oh, okay, never mind. Do you want to do you want to look in there? I mean, I already did. So wouldn't I have seen it? Well, you you, you didn't look in the other door. You like looked past, in the lavatory. Yeah, through the lavatory. Oh, the other door. You mean? Oh, I guess I mean this one. Yeah. Sorry, I I realized there are two lavatories. So yeah, you could lock them in that lavatory. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll let's do that. do that then. Sorry, there are two lavatories here. So I just would have found another one if I had gone through the other door. <laughs> uh, well, if you had gone through this door. Over here. <clears throat> yeah, okay, yeah, so let's... Yeah, you can lock him up. in that lavatory. Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> it's pretty cruel, but yeah. Um, make... I mean... <laughs> I mean, would they rather be killed? Someone make a dexterity check for, like, their bonds. Oh, definitely not me. I could make a strength check. No. Um, can't beat the ropes into submission. <laughs> how's your, how's your dexterity? Six. Minus one. What's yours? Four. But I would have disadvantage yeah. still. Yeah. Okay. So then help me and give me advantage. Can I help her? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> We're tying. Yay! Tying real good. Yep. So you lock the women in the lavatory. I'd never thought I'd say that. Um, <laughs> okay, let's go back up to the third floor. Is that you do? Uh, oh, yeah. So yeah do doing. we hear? Do I hear anything as we're going into the stairwell? Like, do I hear more people coming from? Um, I mean, if we go to the stairwell, you don't hear <laughs> any people like coming down necessarily, but. Um... I mean, he's pretty beat up. She's only got six hit points, six hit points left. Do you mean you? Sorry, I have. Or, yeah, oh yeah, I'm Shayori. Sorry. I, I was gonna say, I, as we going up the stairs, I probably cast healing word on her to bring her back up. Um, I can't How move my token. Do you have? Oh, you win. I have the one wall. after this. Oh. So, this is why, like, I'm just doing one. There okay, we go. so you gain six hit points. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so so Yi, so is everybody else following Yi as she goes over there, or are you like? Yeah. You actually gained seven hit points, not six. I cast as a first. Oh yeah, you're right. You're it's right. Six, two plus seven. the spell level. Yeah. You've been doing cleric okay. longer than I have. I'll trust you. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Um, I am liking cleric more than I was liking paladin. I'll say that much. Yeah, you have a lot more spells. So that's yeah. Good. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, okay, yeah, so I think we're just following E up there. Like, yeah, if I don't hear people, then I'm just kind of headed up, ready to jump out a window at any time. <laughs> Literally, because you can do that and then just be on the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that that's my like quick escape plan. Like, if I start seeing like seeing a group of people coming, I'm like gonna hop out a window. So you want to go up to the third floor? Yes. Okay. Um, Based on what the women are saying. Sure, yeah. Back up! 
Man, we could have avoided that whole combat if we just went upstairs, if we just stayed upstairs. <laughs> but guys, the XP, that doesn't matter, though. It doesn't matter if we don't survive. <laughs> like, we're literally on an island. There's no escaping. <laughs> Not it really. the robot. I mean, if it's just one of us, though, and we're surrounded, like, I don't know. I mean, maybe. But... <laughs> I mean, technically, once we rescue Shayla, we'll have whatever she has. Well, no, she doesn't have her powers anymore. Uh, yeah, that's right. Because she broke her pact. So she's, like, useless, basically. She can use a weapon if you give her one. Yeah, she can use a sword. <laughs> a dagger or something that I can give to her. <laughs> yeah. And so she can gonna... give her a dagger, she'll, she'll like, stab you stab at people. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty much all she can do. Okay. Yeah. So, so we're back um, up on the third floor and mm -hmm. nothing crazy between... uh, You definitely heard, like, people, like, talking um, when you got to the second floor. And, like, you, I think you heard, like, someone in the booming voice saying, like, Please, you know, calm yourselves. We do not know where the interlopers are, but we must pray for guidance. Okay. Um. So... But yeah, you made your way up to the third floor, though. So I'm gonna go in this hallway. Okay. And do I hear anything in, like, in there? Uh, no. We heard whisper. We heard whispers in both of the. Yeah, doors. but right now I don't. I don't hear anything in this door. Um, I think you hear like quiet whispering over there. Okay, and do I hear anything from the door at the end? Nope. Can we okay. can we guesstimate based on how many whispers there are, how many people are in that left? Uh, you just hear one person whispering. Okay, so what if it's Shayla? <laughs> I know, but I'm gonna. I would like to peek in the door with zero whispers. Uh, so all right, make <laughs> stealth. Well, that's the thing. Like, I assume that you'd probably just be keeping the same stealth, but, like, I'm not... Sleight of hand, maybe? Yeah, make a sleight of hand check. That's what this is. To, like, open the okay. door... Okay, how quietly you can open up the door. And, like... Yeah, without it, like... Nine. Or, yeah, nine. Dang it! Too bad I didn't have advantage. So as cause... soon as you open the door, we definitely roll initiative. Okay. Oh. Uh, no... There we go. Okay, so wait, I'm Whoa. following right behind her. Ouch. So I'm like, yeah, we've been following her. Yeah, so go ahead and move yourselves over there. Where is, where is she? Just oh, Brett. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Oh, crap. Is there a room full of warlocks? Is that what we're walking into? <laughs> we're gonna die. I mean, Brett will win, oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've had no actual, like, character moments. Just in <laughs> You've just oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah! oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's all I know of Gret, is he just goes, oh yeah! So That's Sayori, you go first. They're about to metagame this, but they're definitely cultists. And so cult this is what they look like. I think we know they're cultists given we're in the cultist area. So the thing is... Wait, is this not popping up? Do it. No. Do the thing. Shift Z? Yeah. Just did it. It's not. It's not doing a thing. Um, here, I'll just do this. Yeah, come on. I have a bad feeling about this guy. So these are small. Um, they aren't, like, medium size. These are small, weird, cloaked creatures. Um. I don't like that. There are two of them that look like that. And then one that seems bigger than the rest of them in the back, who, um, looks like this. 
<laughs> oh. I also inside. do not like that one. So, Siri, what do you do? I mean, so wait, how many are there? There's three of them. There's three of them, yeah. One, of the, one mean, big one and two smaller ones. So I, I guess I'm just going to run in front of this guy and hit him. <laughs> the thing with monks is that there's not much they can really do other than, you know, hit stuff. Hit stuff and dodge things. So let's uh, let's go for it. All right, do it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's a good <laughs> oh, way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Twelve. Who dang. Yeah, so you you uh, you almost like kill this in one blow. Um, Unarmed blow. <laughs> like it's really really damaging to this thing. Um, you just like slam it in the skull, and it just like crumples to the ground, and like it's like almost gonna die. Like, let's hit it while it's down with an unarmed strike. <laughs> okay. Fourteen. Um, I think that hits. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Just barely. Sweet. Five. Uh, yeah, so you, you kill it. Yes! <laughs> and when you do so... Oh, no! Two more up here. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Um, there is suddenly a magical, like... Explosion? Or not a, not a, not a magical, like, a, basically just, like, a bright flash of light. So, it basically, it almost looks as if it, inside of its skin, it had, like, pretty dark skin. Inside of its skin, it had been, it had been, hold, like, holding light. And so, suddenly, like, it's, the pores of its skin just starts to, like, crack. And, like, light just, like, bursts out in a, in, like, a, a ray, um, in, like, ten feet around, uh, around it. Um... And so it blinds me, basically. And so it basically turns to ash. Everything in, in, in its possession, uh, its possessions. Um, and make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Um, I think... Okay, yes. Uh, you don't have to make this. But just say, right? <sighs> uh, Alright, so you're blinded until the... Um, let's see. Uh, the end of your next turn. Okay. All right. Uh, all right. So I like epically like punch this thing and kill it, and then I'm like, Wah! yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. No, it's not. Yeah, it's oh yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> every single session from now on? Oh yeah. yeah pretty much. Oh yeah. Um. So now it's it, the um the other creatures turn over here and so it's gonna run over and just attack you sayori um where did, I, where did I go you disappeared because you were blinded and I oh took that's away right i was like where did I oh go? sneaky sneaky so wait does he get advantage since i'm blind i think so i'm double checking that so suddenly everything around you just like is white whiteness <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> Conditions blinded. Yeah. She took one out in one hit. Yeah, it has advantage. It does? Okay. Thank you. I, yeah. I, my computer's going slow. Okay. 20 AC, please help me. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see. So it grabs out a dagger and stabs you. Try me. Oh my god! Ow. Wow. Oh no, and it steals an extra yep. seven piercing. Uh, extra two d six. It just it does, that's the average of the two d six. Oh okay. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, oh guys. Gosh. Nice knowing you. I have one more healing spell left. So okay. it does seven plus. So it does fourteen okay. damage to you. God, I'm down. Really? <laughs> yeah. So so literally, you get blinded, and it just takes advantage of it. It it rushes forward and just stabs you in the chest. You just like crumple to the ground. That's crazy. Double crit. Yeah, that's intense. Wow. So well, now it's the other creature's turn, and it stalks forward. Um, with its big old sword. I guess it's a short sword, but it looks cool. Um. Let's see, and. It's going to cast. Actually, I don't know. No, it's it's gonna move. 
Um, here, let me let me see if I can find this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where are my premium assets? I bought spell effects. Come on. Oi. Trying to find what this would be. <laughs> Here we go. So, um, let's see how big that is. So he casts oh, no. darkness. Uh, can you look up darkness for me, real cool, quick, Emily? The spell. Yeah. Dark. What the radius is. Uh, da, da, da. 15 foot radius sphere. Okay. So that means. That big. Okay. Right. Is that. Wait. No, 50 foot radius. Yeah, 15 foot radius. Wow, that's intense. Let me make sure that that's. Yeah, 15 foot radius sphere. And the range is 60 feet. So I think it's like that big. No, it's even bigger than that. Okay, so it basically just covers. Six full squares. Wide. Yeah, there you go. So neither of you can see. Um, you're suddenly, yeah, in complete darkness. Dang um, it. It's not good. No, it's really not. Um, let's see what else. Okay, you can move 50 feet. Okay. So, suddenly you're, so while, while Sayori went out in like a, a flash of light, um, you suddenly are just surrounded by darkness. Um, and then it's gonna rush over, and you don't know this, Emily, but it's right in front of you, and then it's gonna stab you. Oh, no. Um, and it can see in total darkness, so... Isn't it magical even, darkness? Yeah, but it says even if you have dark vision, the person can't see. It's not dark vision. It's blind okay, sight. Okay, so it's... Okay. It has advantage. Does that hit? Uh, yes, that hits. Okay. I mean, I'm probably dead. It's fine. Six, and then the extra... <laughs> yeah. So it did 20 damage to you. Wow. Uh, that's not good. Yeah. Because I cannot oh, yeah. either of the two <laughs> people. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, so Yi, it's your turn. Make a death save. Oh no. Okay. Oh well, yeah. Now we know why it's a one shot. The end of yeah, the three shot for you. Right here and that's <laughs> the end. Shayla doesn't get saved. Uh, uh, Alright, Grant, it's you. What do you do? I don't know. Give me a second. You're completely <laughs> blind, so you can't see anything. Would they have heard anything. me go? <laughs> uh, yeah, you probably hear that like, ye in front of you just got stabbed and like crumbles to the ground. Give me a second. I'm looking for Spare the Dying. I think... I stink. Oh, no. Not Sacred Flame. You stink? Dang it. I have to touch a living creature. Save yourself, Crit. I think I'm just going to back up. Mm-hmm. Into the back up. So, one, two. So, I see I'm there. Three, four, five, six. Six. What's in the room, Gret? Actually, that's a good point. Would I is is this an open doorway right there? It's a door. Right. It's not an open doorway. You can you can look. There are people in there. It. Don't go in there. Save yourself. Okay, well, I'll probably just back up to there. Sure. Actually, and I'll probably use the rest. Uh, actually, blah, 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 blah. can I ready in action? Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, give me a second. Uh, I need to move. 
my video editing software away from Google Chrome so I don't accidentally keep clicking it. Um, I do that all the time, man. Yeah, I know what you mean. Go away, Vegas. Drag away. Okay, so I think I'm going to prepare a guiding bolt. Okay. So when something you can see comes like you, you specifically what? the thing i just saw that looks like it cast it when it walks through i want to cast guiding bolt on. right yeah so when an enemy is in your line of sight you cast guiding bolt at it mm -hmm. uh, all right so sayori would you make a death save for me no i'm sorry i was gonna save. use i was gonna save you but then i can't but now he's not going to so it's the darkling's turn um, I think it just... It goes... Let's see. <laughs> so what happens is suddenly a dagger comes out of the, the cloud of darkness. Oh, it just misses. Yeah, it doesn't have advantage, so, yeah. So, so a dagger just flies out of the darkness, and you just manage to, like, dodge out of the way in time for it to, like, just, like, st uh, hit the door Bounce behind off my you. Shield. Or that, yeah. Like that. <laughs> One of those happened. Uh, and I think that, yeah, that's his turn. So then it's the uh, the Darkling Elder's turn, um, and it's just going to go... Yeah, so it gets to here, and then you cast Gatting Bolt on it. Yes. Um, that's my last spell. Actually, wait, no, I have two. S oh, wait, no, I just didn't count the spell earlier when I, wait. Actually, did I? How many times have I cast Healing Word? I think this will be my, th I think this will be my last spell slot. Is it? Well, you cast it on yourself at second level. Mm -hmm. And then you cast it on Sayori twice at first level. And I've cast it on you once, haven't I? You haven't cast that on me. No, you cast. Um, you used your channel divinity on me. Mm -hmm. That's right. So I do have two spell slots left then. There. So I, I will cast Guiding Bolt as a first level spell. Do it. Take it. That hits. Yep. I would hope so. 16 Radiant Damage. Nice. nice. Oh, you know what? Here, I need to check what they're like. They might be like... Susceptible to susceptible Radiant Damage radiant because damage. they're dark? Yeah. Let me double check. That'd be awesome. That would be mm, really, no, really aren't. helpful. They aren't. No. Oh, okay. dang it. Does it have to do... A, is the dark thing a concentration check? Um, Can you check that for me, Em? Um, Let me look. Darkness says concentration. Emily, <laughs> your encyclopedia. It's fine. I, my computer is just going really slow. So. Yeah, it's concentration. Oh, so okay. Yeah. So what do I have to roll? Constitution. Uh, yeah, Constitution save. Um, DC ten. Okay. Fail. Fail. Oh. Ah! Yep. So it's fine. Uh, all right. Um, I guess it just like it just uses the dash action, and just moves forward, and is in front of you now. How does it look after taking that blast? Uh, pretty pretty damaged. Yeah, like it's okay. Um, so you did sixteen to it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, seventy so three damage. Oh my gosh! Yay! -y. I would like a crit, though, so I can get back up in the darkness. All right, so two successes. All right, Gret, it's you. Oh, it's me again? Yeah. Okay. Because remember that, that was a ready action. So. Oh, that's right. That was a ready action. Nope. Duh. Hey, give me a second. Uh... Now you can just cast it again. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt again. Oh, wait, now, now I get advantage, don't I know? Or is that the other spell? Uh, yeah. I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, you get advantage. Yep. Last spell, don't do me wrong. Yeah. Uh, I wanted it to be a crit. <laughs> Did I? All right, there you go. Eighteen wow. radiant damage. Yep, Holy you cow. 
You kill him. Yeah! Oh, nice. The darkness dissipates. There's your moment, Seth. There's your moment. Uh, oh, yeah. This is my there moment to... in the sun. Um, As... So, a... what happens, though? Oh, no! Don't say that! Wait, so the darkness goes away, right? Yeah, the darkness should be dissipated. The darkness because dissipates, cons- yeah. Yeah. But then he bursts into light. <laughs> yes, and because this is a bigger guy, this is a little bit different. So. Oh, no. Does he does do damage? He does. Um, make oh, no. a DC 11 constitution saving throw. Do you have inspiration, Gret? No. Get inspiration! Constitution saving throw shit. Oh, yeah, you can just tell us something about your character. Oh, but tell us like... about your oh, It's it. fine, it's fine! Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, there you go. So, um... Uh, you, take, you still take half the damage, though. Oh, but you aren't blinded. It. Oh, no. I, I, bl- I, I block my eyes with my shield. Yeah. So how much damage is that then? So three damage. Yeah. So it, it does the same thing, right? But it's like even more like intense. This just like radiant light just like just, like explodes everywhere. Uh, all right, Sayori, make it a save. Oh no! Watch, I'm gonna crit fail and then just die right now. No, oh, do really it! Bad. Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> I have one more. Come save me! I tried. I can't go right. so far away. It's the dark. You. It's that last Darkling's turn. Um, and then I think he he yells, "Master, interlopers!" And then he runs. Yeah. Is oh that not God, his God, master? Nope. Oh no! So oh he, my gosh! Is it Oberon himself? He oh he rushes forward. Uh, great one shot, guys. You. It's all Shayla's fault. Freaking Shayla. Ugh. Oh. oh no. It hits. At least it doesn't do the extra damage. Yeah, it doesn't have advantage, yeah. Still was seven. That's still half my hit points. <laughs> uh, Alright, E, it's you. Okay, guys. Not twenty. Not twenty. Oh, <laughs> so close. At okay, least so you so stabilized. I, I'm but... stabilized. Yep. Okay. Uh, hey. Grat, it's you. I think as my action, I am going to disengage, mm-hmm. and I am going to try and reach. Um. Uh, I'm trying to reach Sayori. Once a one. But to... that won't help me at all, though, because you have to use an action to cast Spare the Dying. I know, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and get close, because if I can, so one, two, three, four. If I can, if I can survive this next round, I and get to you. If you can survive this next thing. round, I can get to you. I have to survive. <laughs> yeah, but if you survive, I can get to you. Also, I can Master you. is coming. Yes. So Caleb. <laughs> uh, let me tell you a little bit about ye. <laughs> <laughs> you mean say hurry? <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell, what, what, tell me about her. <laughs> um, I love this mechanic. <laughs> Begging for his We get, we get dramatic no. flashbacks right before important <laughs> roles. Um, do you want to tell me about her hair about... or something? <laughs> and that is why her hair is always up. <laughs> so Sayori, um, when she was talking to the captain earlier about experiencing her teammates, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know, mates dying basically, her whole ship was um, taken over by pirates mm-hmm. and murdered oh. everybody. So that's why she's not with her crew, and that's why she's just kind of a wanderer. They just ba- like basically she managed to like get it out, get out alive. Her and Ari both. Her and Ari. Well, Ari's um, all of her, Ari's friends died too. Yeah, everybody's oh, just yeah. murdered. Everyone, in the all my characters are like they have tragic backstories. You know? Yeah, they have very tragic backstories. So yeah, so she barely managed to escape with her life, um, and that's kind of what she's kind of like a wanderer now, kind mm-hmm. of like she's trying to like save up some money to like maybe buy her own boat. She's not really sure what she's doing mm-hmm. at this point. She's kind of like, um, let me figure out. <laughs> Another get on a crew to sail across to the new world well kind of i think that's what she's kind of thinking is maybe to get passage on to go to the new world 
um, that's that's a thought. So there you go, little nugget of information. Take inspiration. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, let's see if I get a, uh, oh, well, good thing I had advantage. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Good thing I had advantage. All right, Seriously. so that's one save. <laughs> yeah, one successful save. Uh, all right, it's the, the Darkling's turn. Um, it's going to rush over to you and attack you. Um... Dang it, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. Ooh, it needs to help. miss. It needs to miss, or else I can't do this. Oh no! It hits. Fine. Low roll. Low roll. Low roll. Low. <sighs> okay, I can't save. I can't save Siori. I can't do it. How many hit points I do you have? One. <laughs> Had I attacked, just attacked it last turn, maybe. But I wanted to risk it, because if it missed, I could have reached her in time to stabilize her. And uh, it was maybe a foolish thing to do. So, but... Yi, you are still stabilized. You're, 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 you're fine. You're good. Yeah. Gret, what do you do? I'm going to turn around. <laughs> I'm going to say, I am sorry. And I'm going to turn around and just smack it in the face with my mace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have to do it this way. I really yeah. hope that hits and makes it worth it for you. <laughs> Does that hit? Does a 13 hit? Uh, let me double check. It does oh, not. No. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no. It does not hit. Okay, well, I'm pretty what? sure I'm dead. <laughs> no, what? A 13 hit for me? Was the other I thought one? it was no. a 14. It was a 14 that hit for you. Yep. It was? They have exactly 14 armor class. No. Yeah. Well, looks like two of us are dead, Alice. Oh, you better hope that I roll a crit. I do I hope you roll up. a crit. Sayori, would you like to tell us something else about you? <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, it just I'll has just... to like make sense. Like you. Yeah. I wasn't sure if you'd let us. No, like, that's fine. Keep doing that. For you don't have inspiration, so. Um. She was given to the monastery by her uh, elf mother, who got impregnated by a sailor, fun <laughs> fact. And he was a human who was just, like, adventuring and stuff, and so she never yeah. met her parents. She was given to the monastery because it was a very shameful thing that her mother mm -hmm, got pregnant mm -hmm, by a random stranger dude. A random sailor, yeah. Oh no. Uh, oh no. And so, yeah, so she was raised by a bunch of uh, women monks because monk women monks are not very popular. There's like a female monk school that's like it's like really small, like mm -hmm. near like the all boys school. And we always like try to like be better than them because we're like, yeah, female power. <laughs> awesome. Is that enough to get? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Right, and so that we're, what we're getting, right, is, like, uh, all of these, like, flashbacks in between this, like, fight, we're just seeing, like, small flashes of, like, Sayori's life, like, and seeing her life just, like, her life bud, like, trickle her. away. Flash, yeah. before, her flash eyes. before her eyes. Quite literally, like, the flash of light that not, you know, okay. you're blind. Well, let's see what happens. Oh. Well, at least I saved. Yep. Okay, so I saved. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, so the next one, is, you only have one more. I only have one more. So the dark lane. I'm so dead. He attacks you. Yeah. <laughs> this is a dead person or an unconscious person. I'm not dead. I have no, one, one hit point. point. Oh, you have one hit yeah. point. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I have now. one hit point. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Nice. Intense. Uh, oh Gret, it's you again. I'm gonna try and hit him in the face. Do it. Don't waste this opportunity. Uh, do I have anything else I can do? You could try to save Sayori. <laughs> no, I can't. If I if I move, if I dis, I can't do it's that. True, and you disengage. can't disengage and yeah. That's what I was saying. I needed him yeah. to miss that one time because I would have had seven hit points, and even if. I got 
yeah. um, attacked, I could have I could have survived, but now I can't. Mm -hmm. There you go. Fifteen hits. Yep. Nine bludgeoning. Whoa. Don't, don't make don't down it. I, I figured mean, as much. They but... have like at least at least eleven. At this point, I am just fighting for my life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see, you, you slam it in the chest. Um, it 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 growls at you. You just uh, need one more good hit. Sayori. <laughs> so did I ever tell you about? <laughs> <laughs> did I ever tell you how, why she left the monastery? No, I don't think you did. No. <laughs> so she left the monastery because um, at the age of 20, her mother figure wanted her to take over and she kind of realized, I really don't want to stay here my whole life. Yeah, I so like the abbess was like, I want you to stay and like become the abbess when I die. I'm just like that yes. sounds boring, mom. <laughs> like mom, uh, yeah. I think she basically was like, yeah, no, I definitely don't want to stay here. Um, and so she, she uh, so she tell she basically like tells her mother like, I want your blessing to go, but I'm gonna go without it. And so her mother doesn't give her her blessing, but gives her the br the braces, like the the whole like they're like, you know the special the bracers the they're like really special at, at the monastery. They're like a badge of honor that has. Yeah. So like, so she's like, I can't like, I want you to be safe. So here, take these. But I really don't like that you're leaving. So. Cool. Yeah. It's All right, take inspiration. To go alone. Take this. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> and that's the three you need, right? Yep. Yep. Man. I saved lives. <laughs> Can I survive now? Is the question. Yeah. So that's the thing, right? If if you go down, then even though down. you're all stabilized, like something bad's gonna happen to y'all. Um. All right. We'll all be captured. Just make new oh, characters no. and try I'm out. I'm You're dead. Out. I'm yep. out. Well, let's see how out you are. Oh, I doubt I'm going to be hit to ma past max. Yeah. I literally just needed to take one damage. Yeah. Okay. Oh, We're all dead. So, um, the omen lied. We just died. <laughs> but we nope. killed things, like, really in cool ways, that's, so... That's true. So, Gret... Yes. Make some death saves. No, I'm kidding. Yes, <laughs> Jesus! Okay. No, let's let's see it. No, I, I want to see if he stabilizes. Well, well no, there's the thing. I, I think, so I think what we do is we when Gret goes down, we fade out to black. Um, oh, and, no. and that's the end of our session. And that's the end of our session. <laughs> and when we, when we pick up, um, not next week, but, you know, whenever we do this next with Just Us 3, then we'll find out what happens to, to Yisei or that. <laughs> and Alyssa will be playing two characters, possibly. Right? It'll be like Fiasco. You just kind of play whatever characters you need yeah, to. Yeah, right. I the mean, it's like, is... really can't do much, so all she can do is talk, mm -hmm. really, and maybe the... stab somebody. But, I mean, they're going to take our weapons, so. And that's why I like being the cleric. I don't need my weapons, because I have... Me neither! <laughs> I can do a right? hard strike! <laughs> Uh, I am in need of a stabby device. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's Terra Nullius side stories. Um, oh, thanks, no. for, thanks for playing, guys. That was that was interesting. What's what's really interesting to me is that, like, yeah. Oh, I guess I can't even say that. No, yeah, I, it's gonna you be interesting, gone guys. Through, it's gonna you be. You just really gone through the top door, the the top floor, the first time. I maybe. Should've. I mean, we should have, but. You know. I figured I figured try and not get surrounded, but we were surrounded anyway. I'm like, okay, whatever. Let's just go. So, so I guess one one more thing we can do is I you all are gonna get a long rest by the time we we <laughs> we pick up oh, the character again. So I'll, I'll give you XP. Again? Yeah, I'll give you XP for the for this. Yay! Um, so what what XP are we at then? Because I actually if I started off at three. Yeah, because if we started off, at I started level at the beginning three, of level three. Yeah. So technically, I would have more than we theoretically got last time since I only started yeah. with. Yeah, so I assume that you had an adventure or two. Um, Started off at nine hundred. 
Okay. Okay, so if we all start at 900, how much do we gain? Let me look. Um, so... <laughs> we killed a lot. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to give you guys... Let's see. You're level three. No, we had like four combat. Didn't we? Uh, three. Well, you have well, I had I had four. Do I get all the XP for that guy on my own? Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so first, uh, everybody take um, 225 XP just for like the, um, the like getting to the castle thing. We started off with 900, right? Is that what yes. It? Yeah. So That's everybody 1, gets 225. 1,125. Um, and then let's add up everything here. So, uh, we have to, we have to use the, we have to do the quick leans with, with the, um, the mercenaries in your party as well. The ones who are still alive, at least. Yeah. Oh, they all were alive. They all survived. Yeah, just kidding. Since Gret stabilized. Let's see, it was... I know, we technically only really killed one of them. If we think about it. What are... What are the mercenaries in, like... CR? Let me check. I'm gonna be kind here, and instead of, like, splitting up all the XP for... Like between eight other people, I'm just gonna count them as like. I'm gonna count them as two level one players that are with you. So. Y'all get. For the quick leans, for the like first fight, you get. Let me do some quick calculations here. <laughs> oh, I guess this is probably pretty easy just to divide it between all of them. So I'm going to do that actually instead. So, sorry, computer's going really slow, as it's been doing all night. So you each get 72 XP for the quick leans? Because, 72? Yeah. Because you had a lot of help. Um, and then... Ye. You get... 700 XP for killing the red cap on your own. Dang! Oh, wow. That was a CR3. Wow. So that should have been, like, a CR3 is like a medium encounter for four third level players. Um, so for you, as a, that was... Oh my god! Okay, so for you, as a, as a one third level player, it was 600 XP beyond your deadly threshold. So good job. So I got 700 for that? That uh, is yeah. awesome. Oh my gosh, good thing I waxed poetic that. about ye. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then you see uh, you have oh thugs. Gosh. So you killed six thugs. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not German, he's just Swedish. No, but that, that's the thing. Like Germans talk like that too. Like the um the exaggerated pigs from Shrek talk like that, and they're German. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> uh, so for the thugs, why did I exit out the calculator? What is wrong with me? <laughs> Guys, what if I level up? You'd need a thousand more XP, I think. Actually, I can just add in the. I don't need a thousand more. I need uh, less than nine hundred more. Oh, I was estimating. I need eight hundred and three more. Close. But I probably won't get it. So for the rest of the things you fought, the thugs and the darklings, you get four hundred and sixteen each. Well, technically, I'm the one that killed the big darkling. <laughs> 
and I'm the one who killed the small one. Right, but like it, it's just you're just in the same fight, so. So how much then? Um, four hundred and sixteen each, for the thugs and the darklings. Does anyone level up? No. Sad day. Yeah. I'm like that would have been crazy if you leveled up after just one session. I I'm know. More than half at level I'm, three. You know. I'm more than a thousand away from leveling up. I need less than four hundred. So if we play again, I'll level up probably. Lucky. Oh my gosh. So there we go. Yeah, that's our session <gasps> tonight. Good and job, guys. Shayla's still sitting in a dark room. Yep. Probably. And maybe she'll get company and, soon. Yeah. What if she just turns into a monk now, since she she's not a warlock anymore? <gasps> she gets trained well, by Sayori to become a monk. <laughs> get yeah, to get trained by Sayori. Uh, Shayla doesn't really have the personality to be a monk. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> Um, my hope is that she gets saved and then she'll make a pact with Titania, Titania yeah. and then be awesome at being a warlock again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But, but yeah, so we can, we can talk about what that will look like when we do, do it again. Um, but for now, I think that's it. I think we're off. So thanks for playing guys. That was really fun. And, uh, yeah, thanks for, thanks for watching those who stopped in chat. So, all right, there you go. That's Sarah and Elias side stories, episode three. We will be back maybe eventually um we won't be having a regular session of this next week we might be doing some question mark who knows um but at the very least in two weeks time we'll be back with regular terra nullius and it's gonna be great guys i'm so excited I'm so freaking excited it's gonna jordan be finally back yeah yeah we miss you jordan all right so yeah uh until then um you can check us out tomorrow for elysian road at 7 p.m uh, Central Standard Time. It's going to be awesome We're playing some sci fi. Not this group, but my other group. Um, and uh, that's it. We're out. Bye.